What is scale guys nexus here and welcome back to destiny 2 and in today's video guys We are here with another exotic to go over because next season It's getting a big daddy buff and it's gonna be insane for the old sh movement And it's gonna of course be for the astro kite verse I'm hoping i'm saying that right now i'm hoping i'm saying it right so the astro helmet itself though What this does is basically gives you move to survive blink further and more frequently Weapon readies quickly out of blink and radar remains up provides a moderate benefit to airborne effective stat of all weapons But next season this is gonna get a buff where first of all when you blink when you're not taking off you will volatile en enemies around you so pve is going to be super super good and then it will further be adding on to kind of the void aspect as well where it will give you basically dark blink for free so if you don't know dark blink is basically the teleport you can see there teleport a short distance that's your dark blink it usually costs um super energy but now with the buff that's coming the astro uh, the astro helmet this won't cost you that super energy, so it means you can TP a bunch of times without freaking caring because it won't waste your super energy. And that, honestly, is going to be insane to go for top tier PvP because the movement you can get going with this freaking helmet or with the uh, blink and also with the dark blink. Nova Warps can go zoom and they could be super, super quick, especially if you have to get the timings down and everything. Oh my god, it can be great. So yeah, we're going to showcase just kind of how strong the Astro is and why this is going to be a massive buff to it and why this is going to be absolute god tier next season. So without further ado, let's go in with the Astro Kite versus Helmet. Alrighty, so we are gonna be on, of course, Widow's Court of All Mobs. Uh, this actually actually isn't the worst map for blanking because at least I don't have a roof that's gonna be bonking my head off. Fib. Oh, we got a freaking quick kill though. I'm gonna jump with this guy. Oh, I ate. <laughs> so one thing with blinking is that there is a little bit of a cooldown before you can start shooting and like chuck uh, nades and everything like that. Oh, buddy, you just got absolutely sauced on. But with the whole void build and everything right now, hey, void locks can actually work with blink. You have so much in your kit to actually go in with, so um, you can definitely order someone actually blink if it's a hunter. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend hunter blink. I think hunter blink is not great, but void lock blinking it can be really really dope because you can just legit dive on people, and especially with the pocket singularity, which is that uh, the melee, you can definitely start on people like this. And he has just no idea now. <laughs> Please give me the skill, thank you. <laughs> but it's just so good for causing confusion. People just don't know where you're coming from. You can see him, Tato coming in the front. Oh sir, I'm coming in the back door. Always come in the back door, boys. Rule number one. But yeah, Blink in itself, as I said, it's not really popular on PC. But like you can see, it's just so good for getting like, past people. Especially, oh, I'm so dead. But if people are going to try shotgun you, you can legit just blink straight past them. And they have to do a big 180 to try to kill you. But it's super hard to get uh, to get used to it and to actually kind of combat. So if you got a guy who's good at blinking over people, I'm telling you, you do work. I know people talk PvP and especially on PC, they can flick and everything. But... It's still like you can absolutely and I didn't get that kill. Oh, please give me this one. Oh my god, practice. But you can still, as I said, there's still a major skill gap you can kind of get going with the blink. If you get used to it, I'm telling you, this, the freaking world or the ceiling is freaking super high in terms of skill. You kind of have to use certain weaponry. So hand cannons 100 percent I would recommend. You're not gonna be doing this with an auto rifle because you need to be able to shoot while in midair. Um, shotguns as well you kind of need something to be able to blast people out real quick so there is definitely like certain weapons you have to kind of use for it but tanya when you get the blinks down like look at this he's so confused oh I hit the wall no no wait what the oh i killed him <laughs> he's so confused and oh buddy is freaking unaware buddy <laughs> he's the blink hunter man's all over the place he's being bamboozled by the warlock but look at that we dodged the freaking what's it called the shotgun into another shotgun but I just jumped over that Titan shotgun and went for the guy behind him and he had no idea what was happening. So yeah, Blink is just, it's so much fun. Now, as I said, it's not going to be changing much in terms of next season in terms of the actual Blink. What will happen though is that if some guy is trying to shotgun you and, oh, I want that weapons. Please give me to me. Thank you. But if someone is close to you and you Blink, you will volatile them, which as I said, will be really, really nice in PvE or PvE and PvP. And oh my God. Oh, that's why he was freaking lost. He's, he's freaking lagging all over the shop. But, like, if I freaking vault there, depending on how they obviously... Oh, we got the kill. But depending on how, of course, the radius is of the volatile, they would all be volatile there. So I can start getting pop shots on. You start getting buffs going because you kill the volatile enemy and everything. So overshields, whatever. That's the main reason this could be interesting next season PvP. And also, once I get my super, I'll kind of showcase just how good the super could be. And... Oh, Man's flying with a freaking crimson. But yeah, next season, if it's a generous enough radius, we can definitely start blinking up people. Oh my god, and getting the volatile buff going. for some bills, and oh, how did you not kill anyone with that? <laughs> oh, just blink on this dude, though. You don't know coming, buddy. You don't know coming, right? And, yo, bro, come back here and fight me. There we go, and... All right, we get this guy. Oh, oh, where is he? Oh my god, I mantled him. I just mantled the freaking hunter midair, and he didn't blink out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just rode a hunter in the middle of the air. He had no idea what was going on. Uh, that's where Blink can be so good, though. You can close gaps so freaking quickly. As I said, it's just next season. 
I feel like PvP, especially when I get the super gun. It's gonna be super nice. I might super now. We might as well. But oh, there's two guys here. We'll get the kills. And oh, the hell just hit me. Oh, don't hit me, buddy. Do not hit me. Okay, we'll get this guy now. And okay, I can't really get the movement going as much. But you can see that you can move so quick with, of course, the uh, the dark blink and obviously the oh, give the kill. Thank you. And I'm so dead here. Oh, no, no, no. The freaking jump. Oh. My God, Stompies, huh? Oh, you can see the movement is just so nice. I would add so much more super energy as well if I didn't have to spam half my freaking um, energy to try to get over to the other guy. And that's why this helmet's going to be so good next season. It's going to make Nova Warp actually kind of usable. Like, Nova Warp's not bad right now. Don't get me wrong. You're kind of a sitting duck when you're charging. But the main problem... Oh, God, I'm freaking golden gun. But the main problem, obviously, is when you have to blink to people, it wastes so much of the energy to try to do that. At least now with this helmet next season. You'll get so much energy and you'll be able to get like probably quad of like 5k's if you really wanted to. Now, I know people might switch the helmet on middle of the game, which obviously can't do trials, but like this sort of scenario you can, but it's still like great. And oh, he just does the freaking fusion. Oh, yo, buddy, buddy, buddy. <laughs> no, he's 1 HP, jump. Oh, okay, I need to wait because I'm not getting the freaking timing. <laughs> get this guy now. Oh my god, they're so confused. <laughs> just love blink so much it just causes so much chaos that guy tried to kill me like three times i had no idea where i was but yeah you kind of got to get used to those timings of the blink of course and uh, there is like a cool down to it i don't know exactly how long it is it's like three or four seconds before you can actually start blinking again uh yo buddy die for me <gasps> oh oh bungee you didn't just do that to me right you didn't just freaking do that to me oh my god that was my heel too because i got the freaking artifact on but yeah, once you get the timing down, I didn't even get that guy. But once you get the times to blink down, you will do absolute work with it. As I said, the reason I died that last time was because I was... Or not died, but the reason I couldn't jump was because I was spamming the jump. And for some reason, when you spam jump after your blink cooldown is down, um, yeah, you just can't blink for a while. It's like a really weird ass timing, but this guy has no idea. <laughs> just blinked over his head like three times. But yeah, if you keep spamming jump when you're on a blink cooldown, you basically won't be able to blink for a while, which is really annoying. But we'll get this guy. Give me that heal, the overshield. Oh, yes. As I said, it just works out super well with, of course, um, what's called void locks. And yo, buddy. Yo, buddy. <laughs> oh, do you need a sword titan? He has no idea what just happened. Get this guy. Don't know. Whoa, what the frick of fusion rifle? Oh, but as I said, it's just so good for dodging freaking um, the Russian shotguns, especially those Anita's wars that are everywhere right now. If someone's rushing at you with the shotgun, you blink away. You can volatile them and then it's freaking popped them from behind. As I said, blink next season, I do think it's going to be really, really nice. Will this become the meta, absolute meta? It depends on other changes, but I do think blink definitely has a place in PvP. I think people sleep on a super much, uh, like a lot. And mainly because it's got a high, high kind of uh, skill ceiling. I think if someone's good with blinking though, they're an absolute freaking menace. You can get absolutely crapped on by a blinker. Uh, okay, this dude here and... <laughs> Make the distance. You see his immortal boys, you blink away, you get the shots off. Oh my god. It's just it's so good, guys. I'm telling you. People sleep on blink way too much. Alright, we got one more super though just before the game ends. I want to kind of showcase a little bit more of how this movement actually works because as I said, the movement is really nice. Last time I just ran into like nearly every single one of the teammates, but you can see the movement is so good with blink. You can just fly around the place. You can definitely do better movement too. You don't have to go straight up. If you kind of time the movement out a little bit, you can spot people really well. No, buddy. Buddy, get back here. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna get it now. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, when the dark blink comes out next season, that you don't have to use super energy. Oh, no warp is gonna be my baby. It's so freaking good. I'm telling you, for those void lock mains, you're gonna be eating freaking good. And I'm telling you right now, if you get used to the blink now, it's gonna bode well for you in the future because I do think blink is super set on PvP, especially with a lot of things like people hiding behind barricades and everything. I think that next season, blink. It should definitely get a bit of a look at because this helmet's going to be great. 34 opponents defeated though, 24 crest recovered. Oh, my crest recovery is ass, but yeah, you can absolutely slay out with Blink. I think it's just, it's super slapped on. Well, that is it for me. And of course, the Astro helmet. You can't really see it right there because I'm shining like a freaking star or a freaking diamond in the words of Rihanna. But we, uh, as I said, this helmet, it is really dope. I would love if they actually gave an ornament for it. I mean, it is a really sick looking helmet anyway. With the way it works and everything in terms of the blinking and everything. It's super, super nice. I will admit, it takes a bit of getting used to. You can't actually spam the blink outs as much as you kind of want to because there is like a little cooldown. And I would love if even they just added to the Astro, it'd give you like a, a timer on when your blink cooldown is kind of done. Because if you spam blink and you keep trying to spam the jump button, it won't blink forever. It'll, it'll basically have to keep on waiting. So 
it would be really, really nice if there was a time run when you can actually blink so you don't mess up the times and everything. That would make this really, really good. But next season is going to be great, as I said. It's not really about the volatile and everything that's got to be insane. Volatile is going to be super nice, especially if someone's trying to shotgun you. You volatile, they'll shoot them once or what, twice. All of a sudden, they're exploding. But the volatile isn't really what I'm looking at for PvP anyway. I'm mainly looking at, of course, that uh, the juicy side of the dark blink. Dark blink with blink is just so fast i'm telling you right now you're gonna have some absolute movement kings rocking around the place when you get that so you thought that another warp was by pvp next season i honestly think it's gonna be a force to be reckoned with you can dodge so much crap you can dodge thunder crashes you can dodge with the blink you can dodge thunder crash you can dodge of course down blades and everything the one thing is obviously when you charge up the blast you're kind of just like a walking or a sitting duck because you can't really blink or anything but i will say that overall this should be really dope next season. I know it didn't really go over, of course, the volatile side of things, but but the volatile is going for you more for PVE, and I can't really showcase it until I actually get, you know, the actual Astro next season. So that would be really interesting PVE-wise. If you're going to use Blink PVE, though, probably don't. Because <laughs> I can already tell you, there's going to be so many misadventures of you trying to freaking get away from an enemy and just blinking off the map and dying in a GM, wasting that revive. So I will say it'll be interesting to see what happens next season with so many ways to actually already kind of volatile enemies. Might not be worth it, but as I said, it could be really dope in PvE anyway. So uh, yeah, it's going to be super interesting next season. I do think PvP-wise, it's still God tier. I honestly think that there's a skill gap with this helmet. And if you get used to blinking, you can absolutely dominate in PvP. But uh, next season, a lot more people are going to start looking at it. And I can already see a blink sort of meta. I'm telling you right now. But regardless, if you liked the video, show us like. And if you want to see more content, subscribe. Have a fantastic day. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next collective in the next one.